Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you the best method for shiny hunting Minio in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Minio, the rock and flying Pokemon, has just recently been introduced to Scarlet and Violet through the Indigo Disc and comes in a multitude of colors, but has one of the best shinies of any Pokemon, I think, in the franchise. But there is a big problem with this Pokemon, unfortunately. It is covered by a layer of rock when you encounter it in the wild, so detecting if it's shiny or not is impossible to do without going in and battling it, which can be a very long process. And along with that, when you do go in to battle it, it does carry the move explosion. So if you do come across the shiny, it can explode on you. And if you haven't saved before encountering it, then you've lost the shiny altogether. I've got friends that have had this exact experience and it's heartbreaking to hear them have this experience. So today we're gonna to go through some steps, some Pokemon that you can utilize to make these hunts a lot more effective and the best methods for going out and hunting this new Pokemon that's now available in the Indigo Disc. So first off, we're going to talk about the Pokemon that we're going to bring to the Shiny Hunts. We'll be using the Let's Go function quite a lot. So having a good, reliable Let's Go Pokemon to go out and knock these Pokemon out simultaneously is going to be really key. Not only speeding up the Shiny Hunt process, but making it just that little bit more efficient on your time. I really like to use Varum as a Let's Go Pokemon. They're very quick. They've got a long range as well, so they can go out and knock a lot of faraway Pokemon out in groups very quickly, especially when compared to some other options that you've got in the game. Of course, you can use anything for this, but I do suggest these ones because they are very quick and very reliable. Next up is going to be a Pokemon that has the ability Damp. This is for the reason that Minio can explode. We've talked about it already. If you encounter the shiny and it explodes on you and you haven't saved your game before the encounter, then you've lost it. And that is exactly what we want to try and avoid. Having a Pokemon with the damp ability will prevent the Minio from being able to explode. So utilizing something like Politoed like we have or Golduck is another option. They're easily obtainable Pokemon in Kitakami for Politoed for the Poliwag or the Psyduck or the Golduck which is available to everyone in Paldea. Other Pokemon that you can use that have access to this ability are going to be Kingdra, Swampert, Quagsire, Bellybolt is another one, and Poliwrath. So all of these are going to be good Pokemon to use with that Damp ability. The nice thing about the Politoed and the Golduck is that the Damp is just a regular ability. You're not going to have to use an ability patch to get access to that Damp ability. But these are readily available in your game and easy to pick up and take into this specific shiny hunt. Now the first place we're going to be hunting for Miniart does appear in a multitude of areas throughout all the biomes in the Blueberry Academy. But the particular areas that I like hunting it personally are going to be this one here which is in the Canyon biome. You want to come to this spot on your map. It is like a bit of a crescent area so it's like a bowl it makes it very easy so you don't need to go too far when you're hunting Miniart and you can knock them out quite easily going in a big loop where you're not kind of traversing vast open spaces and maybe possibly missing the shiny when it does spawn in. And when you get to this location here, what the first thing that you're gonna always do with any shiny hunt is drop a save. Then we're gonna set up our picnic and create a sandwich. It's gonna give us the sparkling power and encounter power level three for rock type Pokemon. There'll be some examples of sandwich recipes in the description below so you can pick and choose whichever one you want. If you want to use just one single Herba Mystica or a mix and match Herba Mystica, it's entirely up to you. But once you have set your sandwich up, the next step is basically just going down to where the Minia are spawning in and using your Let's Go Pokemon to knock them out. It's a very simple process doing this, but definitely the most effective method for finding the shiny. You've got 30 minutes to knock out as many Minio as possible. And the only time your Let's Go Pokemon isn't going to knock a Minio out is when it comes across a shiny. And it will look a lot like this. It will just refuse to knock it out. You'll, you'll see the sweat mark icon next to your Pokemon saying that it's not going to knock out this Pokemon. That is because the Minio in front of you, although it looks exactly the same like all of the other one with that brown coating that it's got, it is the shiny. So at this point, you want to drop a save. You want to change your lead Pokemon to the damp ability Pokemon that you've got in your party. Here we've got the Politoed. So we'll swap that over, drop a save, and then we'll go in to encounter the Minio. And as you can see, it is the shiny, but we don't know what color it is yet because we've not discovered that from this particular area of Minio that we are hunting. And you can see here the damp ability coming in so clutch. Otherwise, we would have lost this Pokemon, had to restart our game. And if we hadn't saved, we would have lost it altogether. But because we've got that damp ability, the explosion is prevented. 
meaning that we can just slowly chip away at it and then catch it in a dream ball. So that is how easy it is to get the mini ore and utilizing a Pokemon with the damp ability. Hopefully this saves a lot of you in future losing these shiny mini ore when you do come across them. I definitely advise you it's an ability that you really want to take advantage of in your game and it's so easy to go and get one right now. Another great location that you can hunt for mini ore amongst the many that there are is going to be in Charge Stone Cave. It's very easy to get to this fly point here and right next to it all you want to do is drop a save set the same sandwich up and do the same process of using the let's go function to knock out the mini art until you get one that your let's go pokemon won't knock out indicating that it is a shiny use the same process as before swap over your lead pokemon go with the damp ability make sure that that damp ability is on the pokemon that you'll be battling with to prevent the explosion then chip away at it and catch it and that is as simple as it's going to be for getting mini art. You can do this with a mass outbreak as well. It is going to slightly increase the odds for getting a shiny mini ore. But again, this is a method that you can do with the mass outbreak and without it, but using the same principles the whole time where you are knocking everyone out. And the issue with the mass outbreak is you're only going to be able to knock a certain amount of Pokemon out before the mass outbreak ends. So you would hit that 60 number, you would set up your sandwich powers, and then you would continually knock the Minios out till the mass outbreak ends. And then you're going to have to reset your game and kind of repeat that, that second process in the mass outbreak over and over until you do find the shiny, although your odds will be increased but by dropping a sandwich power and just coming to one area you don't need to worry about anything ending there will be a constant supply of the mini or just spawning onto the field every time you knock another one out so meaning that the shiny you will eventually get it you just got to have a little bit of patience it might be on the second it might be on the third or fourth sandwich that you set up but you will definitely get it using this method and you've got no worries about it exploding on you and disappearing into the abyss if you've got a damp damp ability Pokemon alongside you in this shiny hunt. But it's definitely one I would recommend in your games. Like I've already mentioned, one of the best shiny Pokemon that we've got available now in the Indigo disc and one that I would recommend going out and getting, especially you can get all of the different colored shiny forms as well, although the shiny for all of the different colors looks exactly the same, but a very cool shiny Pokemon to go after nonetheless i hope you found today's video useful i hope some of these tips have been useful for you going forward and it saves you a shiny when otherwise it might not have let me know if you've been mini or shiny hunting in your games what pokeball you've been catching them in and if you've enjoyed today's video and found any value in it please consider dropping a like and do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our pokemon scholar and violet content i will see you all in another video very soon good luck mini or hunting with those damp ability pokemon until next time friends take care of yourselves and bye bye